Picking up where we left off with cloud assets, we're going to learn how to utilize assets within your layouts. We're going to flip back over to AutoCAD architecture. And I have my small demo cell open still. I've went ahead and removed a couple of the assets that were placed previously. I'm going to start with a forklift. I'm going to search for the forklift and this time I'm going to use my vaulted asset. To place the asset, I'm going to click on it and drag over into the drawing area. Once I have it in place, I'm going to click it to drop it, and then I'm going to orient it. Once I've got it oriented, I'm going to go ahead and hit escape to stop placing that specific asset. Continuing on, I'm going to look up conveyor belts. Instead of searching for them, I'm going to go into my vault assets. I have a number of vaulted assets available. Within my vaulted assets, I have a conveyor belt that I will be using here. I'm going to drag just like normal, and I'm going to begin placing this asset. Once I've placed one, there's a special feature within this type of asset that allows you to chain them together. As you can see, if I drag close enough to the section that I previously placed, it'll snap the next piece into place. This allows me to chain commonly chained assets such as conveyor belts. Once I've placed a section, I can cancel out. Now that we've finished modifying this demo cell, I'm going to go ahead and do my initial vault check-in for it. Under the vault tab, I'm going to choose check-in. And once I hit the check-in button, I will get notified that this needs to be saved before it can be checked in. I'm going to hit yes to save it. And then you will get a typical vault check-in dialog. You'll want to enter some check-in comments. Note that vault comments are searchable, so I highly encourage all users to make them. Once everything is in place, you can go ahead and hit OK, and the file will check in. After the files have been checked in successfully, you'll get a notification that the files are linked together. And it does note that you can check them in manually by doing so through each CAD application. If I flip over to Vault, I can now search for the demo cell and I should be able to locate it. Go ahead and close that. One more time. And you'll see within the vault, I have a small demo cell, which is the one we just checked in. See our comment. And you might also notice that there is a small demo cell layout data file. This layout data file is factory specific and contains asset information as well as other factory related data.